from the Accustats Arena at Caesars Southern Indiana. Welcome to the 2022 Derby City Classic and the All-Around Pocket Billiards Championship. Thank you. Thank you. Pool's most exciting event is sponsored by Diamond Billiard Products, by Simonis Cloth, and by Aramith Belgian Billiard Balls. We'd also like to express our thanks to OBQs, Master Chalk, and Outsville for their contributions. And also, lastly, recognizing our great tournament direction team from Bad Boys Billiards Productions. This is our 12th year here at the Caesar Southern Indiana and we want to express our gratitude to them for being such great hosts and partners along the way. You know, our extended Derby City family now goes around the world, as we can see by the players that have assembled here, as well as all of our great spectators. Whether you're here, ringside, or watching at home, or anywhere else around the world, ladies and gentlemen, we thank you very much for making the Derby City Classic the most prestigious and popular event in professional pool. Thank you very much. We're in the bank pool semifinals. Here's a very quick recap. 370 players began. There are three players left. None of them have a rebuy. The player that got the buy waiting for the winner of this match is Feder Gorst. He will play in the championship against the winner of this match at nine o'clock tonight. Let's find out who it's gonna be. From New Orleans. This gentleman's a US Open one pocket champion. He's sponsored by Game Tight Clothing and Buffalo Billiards. We know him as T-Rex. Please welcome Tony Chohan. <laughs> His opponent from Glasgow, Scotland. He's a US Open nine ball champion. He also has a world record that I think everybody now knows about, and we'll talk more about that later in the evening. Sponsored by Perry Q's, Kamui, and Rass and Tables, ladies and gentlemen, it's Eagle Eye, Jason Shaw. Okay, here we go. At this time, it's my honor to send it upstairs to the commentary box, to Double J, Jeremy Jones, and to eight-time Hall of Famer in five different disciplines, Nick Varner. Take it away upstairs, gentlemen. Well, thank you, Kenny, and uh, welcome everyone to the 2022 Derby City Classic semifinal of the Bank Division. We've completed one event with the Bigfoot Challenge. They bring the nine foot in here for the Banks one pocket and nine ball. And like Kenny said, a special guest, the Kentucky Colonel and Hall of Famer, Nick Varner. What do you think, Nick? Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Uh, this ought to be a fabulous match. Uh, just on anybody that's watching this at home, go to the bathroom, you'll be able to miss a whole match. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Yeah, this, uh, the Banks is like the epitome of the fast and loose. Uh, a lot of times, especially when they seem to get into this table here. This table is kind of appetizing for offense, don't you think? Yeah, just uh, just a little softer where <laughs> they yeah. can afford to gamble a little bit more on those long railers. <laughs> yeah, and what I see are comebacks in games more. You know, like when guys get their back against the wall with the score, they they tend to see one that they can see some future with, right, and take a little more chance. The break should be no problem. It's just all about the cue ball. Well, if you get a chance to play one of those banks you're behind where you can hit that object ball close to the middle and you can stick and you've got some other balls to play, yeah, you got to go. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of the sickest ways to get beat. You know, when, oh. uh, it's uh, Tony, Tony Fargo's done it to me twice here where I had him like two to one and dead and he just jacked up off the end rail and I never shot again. Uh, with him stopping the ball for shape, and it's but it's one of the most exciting things to watch as well. Now these the guys think these are kind of like they're always taking this long railer on the slidey table, right, Nick? Yeah, you you don't duck on this one. You, <laughs> you well, of course you just make sure you make it. But yeah, you could tell the way that ball went in. It's pretty generous <laughs> with that cloth. <laughs> yeah, and his stroke. He caught quite a bit of rail there. Oh yeah. That long rail. And it's a tight angle, you know what I mean? But the one thing that I've always found here at the Derby when I've played my best bank is like most shots are like that medium aggressive speed. Not over, overly hard, but definitely not babying them. You know, a little bit of speed on there. 
Yeah, he hit that. I like the speed he hit that bank, and he's got a pretty good bank here. Yeah. And, uh, and dressing up on the six, it looks like. Yeah, he could run five and out here. Depends on where he falls after the six. I kind of like stunning this one behind the five myself. Yeah, he drew it a little bit. I didn't know if he'd get shaped that way. I thought he might stun behind and either get the three cross side, maybe the eight cross side. Well, he's got a pretty, except he might be jacked up a little. That one ball, he's laying pretty good on the one, but uh, <coughs> he can't see all the cue ball. That's going to complicate it a little. But one good thing about it, he's not going to leave anything easy here, I don't think, if he don't make the one. Plus, you'd want a little the right side of the cue ball, if anything, on the one. He's taking no, on he's the four. on the four. Yeah. This one should be somewhat light. Yeah, he's in stroke. Wow. And he didn't even, he disregarded the shape. And you know, the thing is, right, I really kind of said it in the last match, and I still feel this, that no lead is really that great here. And not only just in ball count, but in game count. You know, you can get up 2 nothing and think you can start to play a little tighter, and it's not really the case, I don't think. I don't think you can let up on the gas too, too much. No, you can't because... Uh I lost one year here. I th I was pretty deep at the end, and uh, and uh, and uh, I thought I pretty well had had the match. I was leading two nothing and three zero, and the guy made a three railer up and down that I didn't even know was possible because I was really protecting those three balls. Now <laughs> I didn't even know that ball go. He made that, and after that, I never seen any banks. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was commenting. That, that was Larry Neville. Yeah. Well, that, <laughs> that's a guy that can do it to you. That's, ooh, wow. Awful kiss on the cue ball. And he broke great in his last match, uh, making balls just a bad kiss. And I explained, to, or I gave Mark a little taste of, there was a situation with two balls on the spot in the last match. And the cue ball was in the middle of the end rail. One guy needed one, one night, the guy needed two. And I told him I played Nick Varner to where he doesn't even shoot away here. He, he just taps the cue ball here and spots another ball, yeah. even playing banks, which is hard for a lot of guys to do playing banks. One yeah. pocket, it's one thing, but banks, it's different. You're not a kid, and one ball and bank is a lot. <laughs> it's not like giving up a ball in one pocket. Right, exactly. You feel like a ball in one pocket is meaningless, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> at least in the short term. <laughs> And I like him stopping the ball for shape. I think he was a pretty good favorite to make it, and it's kind of what it's going to take to win these matches is run a few banks. I like the two a little more than the seven maybe, but. Yeah, I like the two real well. Yeah. I wouldn't even, th I w well, I'd I, I just make sure I make the two. I'm not going to be trying to get too fancy on it. But. Yeah. <clears throat> See, he had to cut that seven so exactly. much more. That's yeah. one thing. I, I like to go, as I mentioned earlier, I like Fat. to go for the bank where I'm hitting the center of the object ball. Yeah, and you don't have a side rail. You know, you got the the short rail there to slide the ball in. Uh, excuse me, not a side rail, but a short rail on the on the bottom to slide the two in a bit, especially on this table. And, boy, those those points <laughs> on those sides are huge. <laughs> yeah. Well, Diamond's always been known as, to have some of the toughest side pockets, that's for sure. And this may not be bad for Tony. Now, he, he's going offensive. I thought he might duck and try to slow the game down a little bit. Because you got to believe that Tony probably is a little edge when it comes to making, like, you know, one and save kind of plays, right? Over, you know, if they both have to get to where they're kind of banking at one and playing safe, you got to think with Tony's one pocket, he's probably a little favorite in that spot, right? Yeah, but he don't play very tight one pocket. I mean, I know, <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> you're right, you're right. That's why we got you in here, Nick. Good point. Four cross corner looks pretty nice. I know the cross corners are the ones that. Can he hold this? Well, this, uh, I guess he can. He's this shooting This looks at like it. it's going short to me, though. Oh, yeah, I like that. That's what it looked like all day on that one. That looked pretty tough to me. Yeah, plus he gave up a lot here on this eight. Yeah, I think the he one, could I get think the some one here. first. I think he's going to bank the one. Oh, first. the one first? Yeah. The eights, I'm not saying a kiss, but you got to. Oh, wow. So mm -hmm. Tony's got to get used to the table. One thing you learn after playing a lot of bank pools, 
there's not one that you can't miss. You think, oh, this is dead, I got this, and then <laughs> you hit that chart just like Tony did there. There's no such thing as one you'd want to bet your life on. I know that. I don't care if you get a place them with your hand. <laughs> it's the most streaky game. Like if you play like not, you know, tournament pool, you don't play long enough matches really to see it. But if you play, you know, some, some side matches or whatever, I've never had the biggest streaks and swings and banks that like I have uh, any other game. I mean, more in banks than any other game by far. And not only like wins and losses, but like, you know, you become unconscious sometimes banking them like you don't miss anything. Doesn't matter what it is. And then sometimes, like you said, a simple cross side can look like uh, like you're shooting uh, at a thimble. Well, just take ball in hand like on a spot shot. Yeah. I mean, not a spot shot, but like that two ball there on the spot. Just take ball in hand any place you want and play cross side. Yeah. <laughs> That's no gimme. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. There are certain players that make it seem that way sometimes. Brumback, I tell you, when he, he had a spell of years here to where – Anytime he had you scratched, he was making that ball off the spot with ball in hand on the long rail. Yeah. Well, my experience over the years, the long railers, you're better off leaving them across side. Especially, <laughs> it's, oh, with, with Brumback, you mean, yeah. Or, or any of those great bankers. Uh. Especially here, the way the tables play, it seems like to me. They really, you know, like there was – some players were commenting about the guy we're going to see in the next match, Fetter Gorst. You know, the, you're better off leaving him cross corners, cross sides, and long railers. So. Yeah, where are all my buddies from Kentucky? you got a guy from Russia, a guy from Scotland, and <laughs> a guy from California. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you know what Banks is. It's all, you know, it's, it's stroke, first off. You never, ever – catch a, a great bank player that doesn't have a good stroke. So these great nine ball players have great strokes. They're just going to figure out the game and get better and better. That's the speed I like right there, just yeah. to miss the mark. Yeah, that was smooth. Mm -hmm. Well, I watched the entire run. He runs 714, and, man, I was amazed what uh, a great touch and feel he's got. I would have thought he'd be one of those guys that hits the back of the pocket, but he's really not. He, no. he hits them a nice medium to soft speed. He's got a great feel for that cue ball, too, for the where it's going. Yeah, and he's, you know, the guy he reminds me of, and maybe no coincidence, they're both lefties, um, but he has all the power in the world, too, but as a Rodney Morris when Rodney really was in the stroke, you know, Jason plays these unorthodox safeties sometimes that are all just skill-based, you know, like talent-based, which Rodney used to do and kind of baffle you a little bit when he'd win those tournaments uh, back in the mid and late 90s, you know. Reminds me of that guy a lot. Little different stroke, of course. It is something lefties nice have. Shot. Uh, it always amazes me how good lefties look at the table, don't it? They yeah. look like they can play as soon as they – take their stance. Yeah, it's like they're going to strike the cue ball perfect every like time. Miserac, Sego, I've looked at them guys yeah. from my chair so many times. Matlock, <laughs> com Matlock comes to mind, too, a guy yeah. that looks real crisp at the table as a lefty. Well, Miserac, in my mind, I don't think I've ever seen a better stroke. And I'm, I no, don't take that personal, any of y'all, but the bridge and the stroke. I don't think I've ever seen a better bridge, closed bridge, and I don't think I've ever seen a better stroke myself. No, I think uh, he, I don't know why, but, man, when I watched him play, he put me in stroke just watching him from oh, the chair. He so got sweet. through that white yeah. ball so good. Oh, man. It was, uh, I agree with you 100% on his stroke. It was incredible. Yeah, look at the behind the back. Tony get, feel, starting <laughs> to feel a little good. And don't think that doesn't matter. Tony feels good. He's a tough hombre. Behind the back there, Tony. There, Nick. Yeah, for the long railer and then <laughs> miss that one. Yeah. How's that figure, huh? Yeah, like you said, you can't think you ever have it. I don't know if there's six stretches. No, but the four, you know, four is pretty decent. As long as you don't overhit it, you overhit it goes long on this table. It's just not going to bite. I think I'd have to play the four here. Which one do you like? The I four? like the four better myself. The two does cross at a lighter speed. Maybe the seven does. Oh, if he can get at the seven, the seven's definitely the shot. No, I don't think he can get to that one. He passed on this one earlier. 
I like this one. Yeah. I know this goes. And that's the speed. If you yeah. overhit it, it hops a little, and it, and it really goes long on this slick table. Well, it gets away from you both ways, short yeah. and long. Yeah. Okay. So he's going to cut, kill this maybe. He's got to watch out for the cue ball a little bit. Good thing is the only ball you can really give up is the six here, it looks like. That's the only ball you got to worry about, which is a worry. Yeah, it sure is. I wouldn't like, uh, I wouldn't want Shannon Dalton shooting at this one. Yeah. <laughs> Talked about him the other day. Man, what a what a player. If I had him in the, in the middle of that short rail there, I froze on the rail, that I wouldn't be so worried. But <laughs> yeah. out here where he can bridge on this ball, this is laying pretty good. But he don't like it. He likes something else. I guess that one, he might the think two that ball, one. Straight back? Yeah. Oh. I think he's trying to cross it. Yeah, he was. And kill the cue ball. I like the six here, cross corner. It looks like it's not a kiss with just stun, and it should turn right over. You know what I mean? I'll, I totally agree. On this table right here, again, if, as long as you don't overhit it, little downward hit on the cue ball. I don't think he sees it. He's just assuming it's not I a play. I think he thinks it's a kiss, maybe. Right. Because he ain't even looked at it. If he goes and looks behind the cue ball, from the behind the cue ball at the six, he'll realize it's not a kiss. Well, if it's close, you just put a little left on the cue ball, and that'll take it away from it more. I don't think you can kiss it. Look how much further away the six is from the side rail than the six is from the bottom rail. That's a hard one to kiss. Oh, Never wow. mind. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, I guess that's why I'm up here in the booth. <laughs> yeah, but I was, I was looking around. You got your picture on some banners. Don't worry. You're always here, Nick. All nine days of the event. Okay. Well, I love the banks in the one pocket. I, that. I come every year for that. Try to catch you into the banks and into the one pocket. Yeah, and this is a big shot here. This one here with a one nothing lead. He trails by a ball. It's the type, even if he hits it good, at the, even on this table, he could bobble it. Oh, he cut it too much. So he's going to give up something probably. Yeah, did okay. Yeah, he might have left something, but uh, Tony's going to have to earn it here. Yeah, nothing. Yeah. I kind of like playing either the seven cross side or the, uh, <coughs> yeah, I sure don't like the six from here. No, I would double bank the two before I bank the six. Yeah. Uh, I, I think I like the seven the best, though, like you, you said. You might be able to spin this two in oh, cross he corner. Can, he can. It'll spread straight English, I think. Yeah, just like that. Yeah. And Tony's like one of the best at those shots, by the way. He really sees them well. Well, this is a, let's see. I, I mean, What's either the way. ball count here? He needs one, Tony. Tony needs one. Yeah, I think the six is the shot. I mean, you got to avoid the one, of course, but you got to do that with the seven also. I think the six is lays a little better. I like the speed he hit that. That's the speed I would have hit it. He didn't make it, but that's the speed I like here because uh, he might be able to make that seven, but, boy, that one's uh, kind of uh, blocking part of that path. Uh, yeah, and this is super touchy. He's got to really give up the cue ball with a lot of spin if he's going to pass the seven, I think. I think he's got to put some inside on it. And then looking at the overhead, which we have the advantage of, he can definitely cross it, but he yeah, needs a little I inside. I think all he can do here is cross it and uh, just roll it. So he gets back for another shot. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. I'm not used to seeing that shot. Well, I guess you just make the one. Well, this cue ball's gotten funny. Can he make the one and bring him down, or is the six easy to make with the cue ball right now? He might go real first and hit a full. Double kiss it, maybe? Lay on top of yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what he's going to. That'll work. Yeah, not bad at all. Because Tony can't afford to try to knock anything in, because if he does, then that, there's going to be two balls on the spot, and he's going to be. 
in the jackpot. You, a lot of people think they're stealing here because there's two balls in the hole. But, boy, if you don't want to knock one in if no. you're ahead. Now, Jason's on the opposite. He wants to knock them in if he can lay it tough enough where he can't make the bank. But I've done this when I was learning to play bank a million times. I <laughs> Look at this. Ooh. Oh, my. The corner hooked him. That's cold. Shouldn't oh, be allowed almost. Wow. <laughs> what a shot. So we're going to back it up a little bit here, I think. Tony's got to probably take a foul. He could kick at it, I guess. Yeah, Which, I'd, I'd just take a foul here because yeah. Jason's got it. Then he has to answer, you know what I mean? Yeah, he's behind further, right? So he's either got to kick away or now he's going to give up a shot here. Yeah, I don't. <coughs> I don't understand that one. But. Yeah, his make speed is a little probably more than he wants, meaning as far as he can't guard the cue ball, but sure does make it at a pretty high rate, right? Decent, six, even, seven out of ten. I might even play the six in that. Uh, that uh, you got to shoot it there, high. right? Yeah. yeah it, was, it was just laying too nice not to shoot it. Yeah. He's still going to give up the first shot. Yeah. Good speed on the cue ball. Really good speed on the cue ball. And almost put it to where the straight backs, he's got to hit it so clean if he wants to play it to his left. Yeah. Like he could easily sell out playing it to his left. I mean, you can sell out both ways, but usually they bank him back underneath him here, right? Yeah, most of the bank players play it in the... Uh... Where he's standing? Yeah. Got to hit it dead straight if he's going to bank it the other way. Oh, he played three rail on the side, four in the corner. He Good. must have been trying to play a one rail, huh? Just caught it fat. Uh, I think he was playing a four rail maybe. I don't know. He sure right. did put a lot of speed on it. I think if he was playing the one railer, he would have probably rolled it more. That three in the side shot, though, looked pretty good. <laughs> Kim, Kim Davenport made that on me in the – Final of the Reno Sands, Hill oh, Hill, wow. on the eight Jeez. to get shape on the nine. I had him dead to rights, and he played it. What a oh, shot. So wow. Shaw with the corner hook turned the game around. Yeah, wow. That was huge. That was huge there, the corner hook. Uh, I believe you have to take a foul there. I just don't. Yeah. Especially now, with that score. Yeah. Now, do you do you wait once? Do you just take the foul on the corner hook there? And then if he fouls back, do you roll out at some time to the middle of the end rail? What's your strategy there? Do you roll out immediately to the end rail, uh, Nick? Or where you both need two? Or? <clears throat> no, I'm no. going to leave him there and drag they him leave, down yeah, a little further yeah, away. And, yeah, exactly. And then I'll probably roll it to the middle of the He table. might roll it. You never know, right? Yeah, and this is a, this is another reason why you got to stay pretty aggressive. You got to stay smart with it, but it is winter break, you know. So if oh, Tony got is. yeah, oh, so Tony goodness. gets a game on the board, right? He can get to going. He's got a long railer on the seven. The two's awfully hard to pass up on. I couldn't pass the two up here. I love yeah. this shot. I always say just stay heavy on it. It's gonna yeah. use the bottom rail a little bit. Ah, uh, see, cut it a little. You got to yeah, force yourself you with the clean it, conditions. Yeah, you yeah. got to hit that fat. Yeah. <laughs> you got no chance when it comes short. Yeah, and the slick conditions, it just doesn't grab that that cut induced English, I think is what they call it. Uh they don't it does doesn't grab like your pool room table and turn over. Now, I know me and you both like the 9. I think it's a pretty doable bank. Yeah. Oh, the 3's okay too. Just to his left, or, or the, the seven's okay too. The, He's got the, a lot of choices here. The one he, ball to the to Tony's so good at this shot at the nine, though. I mean, as long as he doesn't overhit it, it's gonna grab. Now he shoots them different than I do. When I shoot the nine, I don't put a whole lot of inside, maybe quarter tip. I just hit down on the ball to make it grab a little bit. Just cut it to get yeah, the spin. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Just guess how much you got to cut it. Yeah, I don't like to use much English. I and I but you got to hit a little firmer. 
you can't roll it that way so much. But yeah, it's like a medium-ish, right? You don't have to crush it, but you gotta you no, gotta get it to twist a little bit. You gotta make it turn. Yeah. You know, if you hit it too soft, it won't turn. Yeah. What I've always found <laughs> is a downward angle on my cue stick makes it grab a little bit more for me, anyways. Almost, I don't know what it is. Anytime you aim below center of the cue ball, you're going to create more magnify grab. Yeah. whatever's going on, whether you miss hit the white and get too much English and yeah. then miss the ball. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Anytime you go below the center, you uh, better hit it better because, <clears throat> well, on a lot of frozen balls where they got to go the maximum, where you got a couple balls frozen, you always go below center to try to get more turn. Right. Two railer on the two, maybe slides by the eight. Yeah, I like that. Two in the corner. It's laying pretty good, too. Yeah, you can be aggressive with it, too. Don't roll it too much. He caught that tip. He, he, yeah, the he table. Caught, I think he caught that uh, upper point. Now, one thing, Jason spent a lot of time on the 10-footer, which will get you in stroke first off after 9,000-plus balls playing straight pool last week. But. Not only that, but what I was going to get at is these tournament, the, the, the TV conditions here, right? They're a little different than the outer tables. And you got to say that Jason has definitely spent more time on these types of tables than Tony has, right, as a whole? Yeah. So he's going to understand the slick table a little bit more probably. Tony's good at it, though. First big mistake from Jason. What do you like here? He's just going to go at the nine. I didn't think it went. The two ball cross corner. I think I'd go for the two. Same thing. Stay thick. Nice shot. Yeah, that's dead center. My bad thing now you get to hit the side of the stack is what I'm thinking. <laughs> and come back up. We're running high here. Yeah, right. <laughs> Now, you, you try to get the cue ball, you know, on his left side of that in rail, right, to make it tough to run the ball again. So a little bit of right here. Don't threaten the scratch or nothing, but coming off the four, a little bit of high right. Uh, He's crossing the eight. Watch out for the cue ball, wow. two rails. Oh, wow, what a hit. Oh, man. Look at that cue that ball speed, tight. too. Did you yeah. see how close it came to that one ball? Wow. And he shot it with straight low center and drew the ball and created that line on the cue ball, wow. which was really nice. What a great hit that was. That Super sweet. Got to take your medicine here, though. Well, maybe not. Three rails on the seven. Three rails on the seven. It's got to be the seven, right? Yeah. I, mean, I think it's going to come short. Yeah, I like this better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One trick shot's enough <laughs> at a time. He made two. <laughs> yeah, really. He made a great long reller. So, and I would certainly be looking to slow Jason down a little bit. I'm not saying it. You can do a whole lot in a race to three, but you can definitely get control of the uh, tempo a little bit of the match. He's thinking this goes. Oh wow! Can't slow him down. Huh? Nine balls, pretty nice. No. Three balls, pretty nice. Now, are you holding position for the five here, Nick? Coming out for the five? I, off the nine, I was. Oh, thinking. off the nine. Yeah. Well, I like the seven better myself. Oh, I thought it wasn't bankable at first. Maybe it isn't, but. That's definitely the shot if it's bankable. I, I guess he's not shooting it, but uh, I like the nine better than this one. Yeah, I thought so, too. But this is safer. Yeah, I don't know at that speed, but uh, he figures oh. to at least hit the pocket, I guess, right? This one's. I guess it's only safe if it goes in. Yeah, right, or bobbles <laughs> the pocket. <laughs> and uh, now you can cross this. That goes cross side pretty nicely. A seven. Cue ball drags two rails up the table. This is a hard I one just to pinch. Stick this one. Oh no, he's going four rails, isn't he? Well, that's a little bit more defensive-oriented there. Yeah, got paying the ball yos. Well, the ball counts. So. Two apiece. Well, can't be two apiece. There's six on the table. Two to one, excuse me, Shaw owed one. 
Three in the corner here. Yeah, he's really dressing the cue ball up for a three railer. He was trying to maybe draw it higher, I guess. This is where you can lose a lot of matches if you catch the point here. <laughs> he can win with it, though, too, yeah, you, right? Yeah. So there is some oh, value yeah. for well, sure. Well, you got to shoot it because <laughs> you probably can, you might have a chance to get out if it goes. I don't think I mess with the one if there's any doubt here. It, uh, you know, if you look at your screen right there, to your right there, Nick, look at the one. He's got to cut it quite a bit. He's got to cut the one oh, quite a bit yeah, by the nine. That's right? too much. Yeah. You got to hope it. You got to hope that it grabs. If it don't, you're dead meat. Yeah. Yeah. You got to go. He knows there's those points on the side are big. He he's not racing up there to play this three. He's not even gonna. Oh, he's uh, ducking almost. <laughs> he's gonna bank. The he seven showed there. plenty of respect for that cross side, and most people think you never miss those. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, it's like his just, I don't know, kind of like his regular nine ball game or rotation game is just improving in all kinds of ways, you know. How do you like that firepower with a little resolve as well? Yeah. Uh, that's, that's a tough combination. Cross corner, he's going to make it bite a little bit, so watch out for the cue ball. He slows the ball down so well, that being the cue ball. Uh, I don't know if it's, I know it's a stroke, it's so really nice, but that, that weighted cue, the big cue, I don't know if that has something to do with it as well. Well, Miserec used to claim that you had better touch and feel with a 21 ounce than a 19 ounce, that uh, he said you could control the speed so much better with a heavier cue. Wow. Well, he's a pretty sharp guy, so. <laughs> yeah, real smart. Okay, you can see the ball count two away from advancing to the final, so. Can't draw the ball back on this one. Maybe he is. He's no, really I, showing off here. I don't like sticking there. He looks no. like the best thing. He's lost Maybe the, the rock, best though. thing that uh, looked like he. Oh, he's, yeah, he sure did lose it. Uh, Scratch might have saved him on not, yeah. not giving up as much of a shot. I mean, it does cost him a ball, but Tony's got a tight one on the five. <clears throat> yeah, this is really tough here. Hard to judge this one because uh, you can't make this with center ball here. You've got to have some outside on this one. Yeah, Nick's saying throwing it back. Right, and he the threw it so easy to do what he did there. <coughs> you either hit it and where it doesn't spin toward the hole or like he did there, it's so easy to overspin that ball. Kenny Schumann's got a tight one. I don't know if it goes. Looks like it squeezes in there. And Jason's only got a multiple rail bank. Or yeah, does the, Kenny's oh, the, the nine? Oh, the nine does go. Long rail. Yeah. Now I can see. Yeah. And it's the exact yeah. kind of shot he wants. Center, this is laying center pretty ball. good here, too. Oh, yeah. All right, cut it. Well, when you're in a situation like this, you have to hope that you don't run into that streak where everything goes close. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> nice shot there from Tony. Regaining the that was now. nice. Yeah, Tony's ahead 3-2. Can he, can he bank this six? Yeah, he, he's close enough to it to be a pretty accurate. I don't know if he wants to throw it or just chop it. You know, Jason chopped one earlier across corner that was pretty yeah. sweet. This looks pretty thin to me, though. I think safety's the shot. Yeah, I like that. Got to really capture the speed of the cue ball. That's one thing for that Tony tends to sometimes let up on is really concentrating on that speed of the cue ball. Yeah. Sometimes with the one pocket as well. This one's funny. Is he four railing this with top? Uh, I'm not sure what he's doing here. Oh, he's just cutting it in or trying to cut it in. Yeah. Well, I'd have to go after the one here. Yeah, with well, some kind but of it way. Was high, I just go a little bit past the six here and come back up table. Because you're going to hit this firm enough, the one's going to end up on this end unless you hit a point or something. And it looks like he can get by the six with a high ball. It's close, I think. I 
think it is close. Yeah, he might. Can he go straight forward and miss it? It is six? close. <laughs> he stunned it. What a That's sweet what stroke. That's what I thought. I thought he could get to the what a far stroke, side though, of huh? the six, but boy, he hit that pure. Four rails here for sure. Yes. Yeah, this is a way perfect. He's just really got to get on the board, get a little something going. He winter break. Look at that ball spread. How sweet wow, was that? Wow, what a nice, uh, nice finish there on the one and the four railer. Well, in our last round, Tony Shohan was faced with Fetter Gorse down two to zero. Ran five, won the next game, then ran five again, I heard, uh, to survive in this event. Oh, really? So he's already been down uh, uh, one time today, two zero against the guy that's waiting to play in the final. <laughs> And that's was that was Fetter's first loss in the last round. Wow. Well, you're right. You got to stay stay on point here. Two to one. That don't mean nothing. That's right. The score all that matters is you getting them next five. <laughs> yeah, we've seen it in the main arena here. Some big comebacks and some big spots. Now he's going to have to remedy this. He can't afford. That's two dry breaks for him in, in this match. One to open the match, and then one here. Okay, not much choice. He could maybe twist the seven back. I'm not sure he likes those types of shots. I, I don't mind them that much myself, but he's going to bank the three. Tell you what, that could cost him, man. Yeah. That one wasn't free. I was thinking maybe either spin the seven back or else play it cross corner and protect uh, the cue ball a little better. Yeah, I thought he would. Because he could do some serious damage here. Yeah, I thought Jason would shoot the three and kind of try and stun it over, like, the middle of the side rail, leaving it kind of funny on the two yeah. and the eight. You know what I'm saying? Like, off on both of them. Yeah, kind of leave it about the middle diamond. Right. Not follow up. I didn't think that was going to happen. One thing about the bank, so sometimes you get too cute and try to play position, and you <laughs> and it eats your lunch, you know. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> and forget to make the ball you're shooting. Yeah, and some. But he didn't do that on that seven. That seven's a perfect example of one. <laughs> but he didn't get very good position. It don't look like. This is awfully tight to give up the cue ball to me. I got to bank the four cross corner here. Yeah. I mean, that Tony's really good at these. You know, that's a bank you can go a long yeah. time without making these right here. Yeah. Well, that's definitely the shot because I don't see where he's got nothing too simple here. The eight cross corner's not bad. Yeah. He can go by the two with high English, come down towards this little pile down here. Yeah. I mean, that's a yeah, pretty decent like, pocket. Yeah, it is, especially. Well, of course, Jason, I don't guess, plays much one pocket, but. Does he? he? Plays better than you think. Right. Yeah, I've only played him. I played him in the finals of the tournament, actually, and in, in at the Caram room there. Pretty good field, and uh, he played well. I think that was worth it. You may give up a shot, but that was a very makeable ball there. Yeah, he might have a shot on the six. He here. sure might. And if he could fall good, this is where there's a lot of luck in bank pool where Sometime if you fall good, you can get all these. Sometime at just an inch or so. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, he had to elevate on that. That's not going to take the level right English and throw it back on the slick table. Not on that type of shot, I don't think. Don't you think he had to elevate and kind of twist her a little yeah. bit? Yeah, I thought that, but he try, thought he he thought he could roll it in, but. Didn't have enough room to cut the ball, right, to be able to do that, I think, maybe. All right, Jason, you get going here. Well, and this is what I meant earlier. You can really can change quickly on you, this Banks. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you're feeling aggressive, you go after the two here because you can really, if it goes, and you, it all matters if it goes, and you fall good on another ball. Uh, uh, and he didn't fall that great. Six. Well, that six is pretty good, isn't it? Yes, sir. <laughs> and I think he'll learn a little something from that last cross corner. He'll shoot this one a little more because it's tight. Yeah, go ahead and shoot it. Yeah, yeah, control what's going on, right, rather than roll that one right there. 
You play the one cross side here. It'd be hard to pass up on, I'll tell you that. Looks like you can bring the cue ball one rail back down without contacting anything. The three doesn't bank by the five. Wow. Or do you draw a bank it? He's playing at one rail, isn't he? Yeah, he's coming straight back and forth. Hit it sweet. Hit it sweet. Wow. Pretty nice. And now he's got the three to win the game and, and uh, get us hill hill. Really a duck for these guys. Wow. Hill Hill. Sweater's delight. Yeah, well, he did it in the last round, trying to come back two matches in a row against two of the world's best. <laughs> and I think, I'm sure they got some footage, but uh, the 60 Minutes crew, I hope they got to put some banks on there because banks is definitely going to be something exciting to watch. Yeah, banks is a pretty game. Especially this nine ball bank. Oh, yeah. You don't get into a whole lot of defense, yeah. especially on a table like this where they can go for all them long railers and play position. They don't have to get on a little tougher table. Cloth's yeah. worn a little bit. He needs a ball on the break, though, right? Yeah. He Two came dry breaks. Dry. One's down. He got one, two, two three. Is he going to leave any to shoot at? He's got a four ball cross corner, but it gives up. <laughs> A lot, Nick. This is decision time, Nick. What do you oh, do? Oh, I'm going right up for the three here. I wouldn't even bat an eyelash. <laughs> this, I, I love figured, this but cross I, it's, corner. Yeah, I it's love not this. just a three. You're giving up the game. This yeah. is the game, this shot, I think. Makes this one, he runs out. Got a chance to run out. Yeah, I couldn't pass that up. Yeah, this is definitely, he can. Now, though, he almost has to, I, I'm going to soft roll the Ooh. eight and hope I stop in time for the three. You're going to roll the eight, really? I thought I'd shoot the eight. Yeah, I like the eight way better than this. But Me too. Let's get some shots, though. Wow. Yeah, you're right. Uh, Jason may not shoot this game. Yeah, and that's there really is. I think the eight's still the shot myself, but there really is. Uh, he's got to get through this now. Yeah, uh, see. yeah. I didn't know if that was the shot there. The eight sure looked like a, a lot of a shot there to me, but nope, no. Yeah, there's no lead in this this format. Race to three nine ball banks. Winter well, break. Well, sometime uh, this is almost one of them games where if you don't run out, you can't win. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> now, it may not turn out that way, but it could turn out that way. And Tony, he got two off the break, so he's got a lead for the moment. This is a little touchy as well. It looks to me the three's very bankable as long as he doesn't mind. This one, you do need a little slower pace. You're, you're probably not going to get shape. No, you might get the seven. Yeah. That's about the best I think you can hope for or else get a shot on the five. But that seven's pretty, laying pretty juicy as long as uh, you can hit it long enough. Yeah, yeah that's good. Perfect. And he's got the five cross side. Definitely plays. He can draw this, follow this. I like follow myself with most of these. When they're simple, I like to go through the ball three rails or two rails around for the three. Yeah, I certainly don't like to hit this one below center yeah. <laughs> on the cue ball. I want a level stroke yeah, in the dead too. middle. Oh, he twisted it. Wow, he did. Wow, that makes it way harder. Wow, I, he hit yeah. it good. And that was all about shape, the shape he wanted. I don't know if he saw he could hit it with a high ball and get on the three, but it almost, Tony doesn't mind it. I don't know if he can hold shape from here. Oh, he's overcut it. This is going to bounce up a little bit. Ooh, wow. Three in the corner or duck? Hard to duck, ain't it? Yeah. I think it is. Now, you got to be a little tidy with the cue ball and the speed. Oh, he said heck with that. I'll tell you what, that's good restraint. Yeah, yeah, I like that choice. Yeah, three to two <clears throat> is the ball count. I thought Tony was going to get out, but he's been behind the last couple matches. Been behind in games. Well, I thought he'd get at least a four. I thought he'd get to eight and the seven. Yeah. Or maybe eight and the three. 
Uh, Needs good guess, speed on the cue ball. I that's guess a, different players like different shots. So. That's a little Because he passed that eight twice, you know what I mean? Yeah, and it was a pretty much a duck in my mind. Yeah. I mean, you could. You're, there's no way you couldn't have got on the three or the seven from the eight. One way or another, you're going to be able to get shape. He's shooting here. Swish. Just one of those guys, another one of those guys that just are able to get it done. That's Jason Shaw. Overcut the three, trying to use the two and the six. Uh, that's got to go as well. Well, he's got a shot here. He can play it a lot of different ways, too. He can roll it, but then he won't have uh, shape, or he can hit it hard. I think you're supposed to roll crossed. it. Right? Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't think, roll it. Yeah, I mean, just roll it, make it, thin the six or the two or whatever it is from behind the balls, get them up to the end rail and see what happens. Well, Jason's on the hill, so... He's shooting. There's no rolling here. And I caught it thin. Cue ball's going to track. He needs the three to go down to give him a little better chance. And it did. No. <clears throat> it's a hard one to shoot at here. This is, this is pretty thin at that ball on the top of the spot there. I would definitely figure out a way to play this three in place. With safe. speed, you mean? I'm just trying <coughs> to see where it's at, where the speed is to get to, to maybe make it and. Well, if he can draw it into this uh, rail here and end up on, I don't know, he's going stead, dead, uh, the boy. If Tony sticks his ball here, he can win. Yeah, he's got to cut it a hair. It's almost like yeah. he's got to stun it a little bit to bend the ball just a hair. You're going to hit this. I, I almost got to go here. What about you? It's not bad. Really, if you're hitting low ball, though, it's hard to get it short enough. Oh, he just tried to make it also. Look at this. <laughs> Tony's showing a variety of ways to get a ball on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that shot there. I mean, Jason makes a mistake queuing here. I mean, his speed's been pretty darn good most of the time. Here he can't feather one. Here I go ahead and open all three. I feel like I'm going to lose the speed maybe if I try to feather just one ball. Yeah, you got to just, yeah, why is he short though? Well, well the object ball's agreed. He hit it absolutely perfect. Yeah. Uh, he left zero banks. <laughs> uh, he don't, he's a. You, you try to pocket the three. Cut the three or the two, either pocket one of those. What else can you do here? I think the three's okay. He's yeah, he's I think the three is. Else. Yeah, I would cut the three. I'm not, unless I miss it, I'm, I'm not playing a bank here. I don't see nothing very easy. It's not bad there. Kept a nice cue ball, which I think he needs to emphasize on. Yeah, the speed there. Right. That, that's a championship shot there, that speed where that white ball's at. Who cares where the others are at? <laughs> the yeah. key there was uh, he really controlled the cue ball. Yeah, it just makes all these guys a lot more human than the guy that's following you, I'll tell you. Yeah, this usually puts a little humble pie on them here. Yeah, he's following his ball back down table, banking the three. Swish. Guys, oh. really good. Wow. That was a great shot there. Yeah, you just tip that your was hat. No, no picnic there. No. And, uh, Fantastic bank to close it out. That's right. Thanks, thanks all the fans, for watching the semifinal. We'll be back with the final before long. Jeremy Jones and Nick Varner with AccuStats. It'll be Fetter Gorst and Jason Shaw in the final. We'll special, another special treat having the Kentucky Colonel in the, with the final. I think it's going to be him and Mark Wilson. So. That was fun, Jeremy. Yeah, same here. Nick. That was we, fun. We knew it was going to be fast and that. loose. But, yeah. <laughs> uh, but anyways, more from the best in the business, Nick Varner. And uh, stay tuned, y'all.